the next question we got was about guest posting. Um, is guest posting still worth it? So guest posting essentially means um, that someone publishes content on another blog as a guest author. And uh, in SEO, this is usually done because you would like to get exposure on the one hand on their website for your brand or for your name or for your content. And then usually you get a link pointing back to your website. So this is the strategy. Um, Google doesn't like it, but it's, to be honest, one of the most powerful strategies you have in terms of branding as well, not only for SEO, but also uh, about branding because you essentially are the expert talking about a topic on another one's uh, property and on another one's website, and they are kind of endorsing your brand to their audience. So it is very powerful as long as the blogs are relevant to your niche, I would definitely uh, pursue it um, from a very valid and high value uh, point of view. So I wouldn't scale it too much, like starting to spin up articles that are too similar just to get a high quantity of guest posting. I would rather look at it like a something I would want to do every week, for example, reach out to a few sites, see if you can, uh, if you're allowed to publish content on their website, if you can get some collaboration going, send them the content, high quality, unique content they can publish on their website is also going to help them attract additional traffic. And if this page then links back to you, it's going to be very powerful. And over time, this compounds and is going to add a valuable source um, to your traffic. Uh, my team does this for clients as well. So guest posting is de definitely worth it, but you need to have a very high value angle on it. Don't try to scale something that's usually based on one-to-one -one communication, agreements, collaborations, and aiming at win-win situations.